What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Buzz Lady Quick One. So get to your base, let's get started. Now the key of the song is F major. Now, the chord progression there is as simple as ABC. Combination of major notes and minor notes. Okay, straightforward. The king is exalted on high. Okay, so one. Then you go back again. One, three, four, five, six. The next phase of the progression is E is the Lord. Two, one, seven. Four. Then next phase again. Flat seven. Six. Five. Three. Four. Repeat the flat seven again. Flat seven. Five. One. That was a little syncopation the keyboard player did there. Mm, one, three, four. Flat seven, six, five. Then back to flat seven, five, and end. So, guys, that is just um, the chord progression. Very easy to approach. Now, if you notice, I wasn't just playing it like this. I'm making use of some basic passing notes. For example, I was doing this. I'm going to the three chord. Five, four, three, suffer me. Then I'm going to the four. Do, fa, one, four, so, which is five. Okay, so I took it again. On this time around, I went to this high one. High one, okay. Do, which is my one. So I took a move going to the three. Remember, we repeated that part. The beginning part was taken two, two times. Okay, so I came up to play this eight octave, then. That was the movement I took again going to the three chord. One, that's the chord progression. On the melody, I meant to go three, right? So I played one. That was a lovely passing note to the three chord. So the passing notes started from the five, five, two, five, one, seven, five, four, three, then. repeated it again easy to go then one four then five I'm going to six flat six six that was what happened there then on the six I didn't just rest on the six I kind of created some simple bass feet that was my if you look at that note there, that was my D minor 7th arpeggio. I was playing with the notes. Okay. Remember, this is 6 and this is 2. If you know your fretboard very well, this is your 1. Do, Re, La. Okay. So that was my D minor seventh arpeggio. Okay. Two, one, seven. 
And if you notice, I was even adding passing notes as I'm going. E. So I connected immediately. I know where my notes are. As I'm playing, I'm thinking of next, 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 next. That is how you should be thinking while playing. Don't just settle on root chord progression. Root note, root note. All the notes are friendly. They came out from the, this, the key, F major, okay? It came out from this key. So as I'm going to... Okay, you know you're going to the third chord. You're thinking about these things. That's why it's good to know the song progression. It's good to know the progression, know the progression of the song. With that, you can flow. Okay, you won't be scared. You know that part of the song that says, "Is the Lord." You see the basic passing note. Two, five, six. One, four, five, seven, six, five, four, three. That was it. Re, sol, la, do, fa, sol, ti, la, sol, fa, mi. That is it. So guys, the last move there is on the flat seven. So you go. That movement is flat seven, four, one, four, flat, flat seven, six, four, flat five, five, five. So turn this off on notation, you're simply playing. So that's it. That was the movement. Use the right fingering. Everything just worked together for good there. Now he went back again. Flat seven. That was how I ended. Flat seven, six. That's a major chord. The five says there is major. So that's a major chord. Then. That is it, guys. Okay, take all of this move, break them in segments, you know, write them out, try to practice them one after the other. All right, guys, this is everything I want to show you today. Take all this move, go try them, and I believe you will love them. See you next time. Bye.